you, you've got to credit UAB. Um, that's a darn good ball club. They're going to be a good team for, for a while. They've got a number of freshmen. Um, now I think, I think them playing yesterday probably helped them a little bit get the jitters out. Um, there's a, you know, there's, there's always that uh, good side to get a first round bye, but yet sometimes, you know, your team comes out a little tight. We actually came out and started out the game. Well, we uh, had two droughts, one in the first half, one in the second half. You know, that first half, uh, they turned up the pressure a little bit when they got down, I believe it was nine. We didn't make good decisions. We didn't handle the basketball. I thought we made some unforced errors, um, made some unforced passes. And, you know, when you look at the stat sheet, uh, you know, if you were to say, Coach, tell us what the real bottom line to this game was, well, it was Jones, Dukes, and Harris, those three players. You look at the stats for the rest of the team, you know, and, and uh, they were the supporting cast. But those three, uh, two freshmen and a senior, played heck of a game for us. And, you know, I, I feel um, it's unfortunate for, you know, two out of our three seniors. Uh, uh, I thought Al Severin played pretty well, considering she hadn't played in the last couple of weeks. Um, Brittany Gill never really got into a flow. Every time she got in the game, she got in foul trouble. That hurt us because it took one of our leaders out there, and then uh, Jillian Samuels. Uh, didn't have the type of game you expect a senior point guard to have. And, and when two of your senior guards, your, your senior leaders, don't, um, you know, they're, they're not on top of their game, that's, uh, you know, that takes away from, you know, you know, takes away from your offense and your defense, especially your leadership. Questions? Coach, you meant that drought, you guys pulled within six. Uh, toward the end of the second half, was it just you guys got back in the flow a little bit, or did you were starting to see threes? And you, and you said the second half. Yeah, the, se the second half, you all pulled back from the six up. We just, you know, we we made some plays. We got some transition buckets. That you know, during that drought, we, we kind of tightened up. We didn't get any transition baskets. Uh, you know, both teams. There's a lot of loose balls today. A lot of tap balls that. You know, they it, quite honestly, our some of our weaknesses were exposed. They they were a lot quicker than we were. Uh, I thought, you know, jo uh, Amber Jones and, and Jayla Harris really broke us down, and you know, we were a little thin at the, from the ball handling standpoint, and, and that really showed today. Coach, you mentioned that you guys had a came out in the first half shooting 43% to their team's 25%, uh, but you only had a three-point uh, lead at, at the half. Do you attribute that to anything or change and going into the second half uh, affected the team? Well, I, I thought that we only had a three-point lead. You know, the difference you're saying in shooting percentage, when, when you shoot that much better, you should have more than a three-point lead. But I thought we only had that three-point lead because we had some Unforced errors, some turnovers, picking up our point guard, picking up a dribble, um, trying to force it to our to our wing players, or our wings not getting open. You know, I thought, and then I, I felt like we tightened up a little bit after that. And you know, if you if you look at the uh, second half, we're the team that shot 25, 26 percent. And look at the lead. That's what's supposed to happen. You know, when when the other team. Uh, you know, picks up the second half, but I just I thought I thought the pressure we let their pressure get to us, and, and you know I thought that was a big big part of where they got a lot of their points because they turned a lot of those turnovers and pressure into transition baskets. Mm -hmm.